lord it's like i feel tired but i need to get this done because i procrastinated for way too long all right you guys cue the intro <laughs> Brooklyn and I'm back once again with another YouTube video. So as you guys can tell from the title today, I'm going to be giving you guys an updated list of YouTube video ideas to make for your channel. The last time I uploaded this video, I think it was back in 2021, around the time of my one year YouTube anniversary. And I'm going on four years of doing YouTube, which is kind of crazy, but I just thank God for the growth and you guys' support. Like it's definitely unmatched. Y'all seem to really enjoy it and so I feel I figured I could give you guys an updated version. There were a lot of YouTube video ideas that I didn't include in the last one and so I thought I could include a lot more videos for you guys to be inspired to make for y'all's own channels. What I'm not gonna do is gatekeep, like we're all gonna win together. If you guys haven't seen this face before, hi, my name is Brooklyn. I give you guys content that talks about faith as a believer in Jesus Christ. I also give you guys vlogs, school related content, advice videos, music, just giving you guys a glimpse of my life. If you guys have not already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and turn on those post notifications so that way you guys will not miss out on any uploads. Also, do not forget to follow me on my socials which are up here and down below as usual. So without further ado, let's get on started. Ay, ay, get on started. Ay, ay. So I have the list on my phone that I'm just gonna read from. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first YouTube video idea that I have is of course vlog. Honestly, vlog are really entertaining to watch and there's some youtubers who just vlogs like their whole channel is dedicated towards making vlogs and then you do have a lot of channels that incorporate vlogs but that's not the focal point of their channel they have their main channel and then they would have their vlogging channel I don't really see the point of making two separate channels just because why not have all of my content on one channel I do have like a spam channel it's like a spam page on Instagram but like on YouTube I post usually my TikToks on there but I I usually just post my vlogs on my main channel because a lot of y'all really love my vlogs but to each their own some people's vlogs be like over 30 minutes to an hour and let's be real sometimes instead of watching a tv show or a movie i like to go on youtube and find a good 30 minute hour long vlog and i will literally sit and eat my food and watch youtube and just watch a good old vlog and it can also boost up your subscribers and your views because a lot of vlogs do really well on youtube so that was the first youtube video idea the second video idea Idea that I have is solo diaries. So this kind of falls under the umbrella of vlogs because a lot of people usually do it vlog style but I feel like solo diary videos can be however you make them. You could basically you know show off how you navigate life solo you know by yourself especially I feel like this could apply to even single men and single women because oftentimes I find that like solo diaries are usually just you know videos that captures the beauty of solitude and honestly I really really love that and I feel like it is really inspirational for me as a person who is still trying to be more and more content each and every day with my singleness and with solitude. So I definitely recommend making solo diary videos too because those tend to do really well on YouTube. So the next video idea that I have on my list is a Q&A. I usually say they are really good for if you're just starting your YouTube channel and you need a few, you know, those few three or four videos to post, I highly recommend one of them being a Q&A. A Q&A can allow your subscribers subscribers to get to know more about yourself especially if they've never seen you before I think I said this in the last video I made but there are some people who say oh your first video shouldn't be a Q&A and I respectfully disagree just because I feel like it's a way for your audience to know you now I feel like it would be way different if you already had a following prior to starting YouTube people already know you I feel like a Q&A doesn't necessarily have to be your first video but I highly recommend it being at least one of your first few just so that your viewers can know you better. So the next video idea that I have is what's on my iPhone videos. These videos are still trending to this day, especially now that new iPhones are continuing to drop. I was debating on making an updated one, but honestly, I was like, I may not make another one until I upgrade my phone. Child, I still got the iPhone 11, and honestly, it's been treating me well since I've had it. I've had this phone for almost three years now. I just might give it to y'all. I just might. And even what's on my, I think, ooh, I dropped my phone. Great. Anyway. I just might give it to y'all. 
I just might. And if you've been watching YouTube for a while, you know that what's on my iPhone videos were extremely popular. Since like 2014, people were making what's on my iPhone videos and they are still popular to this day. So I highly recommend that. And it can get your views up as well, especially when new phones drop. So the next video idea that I have is college diaries. So again, this also falls under the umbrella of vlogs, but college diary videos really can get your views up because a lot of people, especially in our age bracket, they watch a lot of college related content. For example, when I filmed my freshman year move-in vlog for college, that video ended up being my most viewed video on my channel. And it still is my most viewed video to this day. And so a lot of people love college content, especially move-in vlog, first day of classes, homecoming vlog, spring fling edition, or whatever spring events your school calls it. A lot of people love watching those content. So college related videos really can do wonders for your channel. And they're really, really cool to watch. Like I personally love them, especially when back to school season is approaching. I literally will binge watch college related vlogs and content. So I highly recommend College Diaries. The next video I have kind of also falls under the umbrella of vlogs and that is Visual Diaries. Y'all know me, y'all know that I still to this day make Visual Diaries. Visual Diaries started trending around 2022. At least that's when I first started seeing them a lot like on my recommended. That's when I posted my first Visual Diary video, I think back in 2022. From then on, I was like, you know what? These are actually really cool to make. So I started making more. And if you don't know what a Visual Diary is, I kind of define Visual Diaries as documentation of like what's going on in your own personal life and kind of showing the seasons of your life and what you go through in your own personal bubble. What, whatever information you want to share or whatever you want to incorporate in your video, that's up to you. Sometimes things are better left not being on the web and then there are some things that you might feel led to share to bless somebody else if that makes sense. A lot of my visual diary captures, you know, what I go through in my life due to, you know, relationships, singleness, college life, um, being a believer in Christ. You know, I feel like they're really good to look back on as well because the things that I was dealing with back in 2022, some of that stuff like I have grown so much from. They can be legit time capsules for you to look back on and to see your growth. So I feel like visual diaries are very, very special. So the next video idea that I have is first day of school slash first day of class. Like I said, these videos also do really, really good gaining more views and gaining more subscribers because like I said, a lot of people love watching school related content. I might even add on top of that like dorm hall videos, school supply hall videos, back to school videos period. They do really, really good for your channel and it gives people inspo as far as like their style, what they want to get for their back to school shopping cart, what school supplies they can get and it can even give them more motivation for back to school season. Cause I know for me, when I watch those videos a lot, like I be getting so pumped up to go back to school. So the next video idea that I have listed are outfit lookbooks. Y'all know on my channel, I recently posted a what I wore in a week video, which was a basic outfit lookbook inspo sort of ordeal. I'm planning on making another one for spring, summer outfit ideas. Just stay tuned. But anyway, outfit lookbooks are really good, especially if you need more guidance on how to dress better or you just want to upgrade your look. I'm a Pinterest girly. I love Pinterest. You can even do like those videos where you recreate Pinterest outfits. Those are really enjoyable to watch too. So the next video idea that I have are Bible study videos. Again, y'all know I have a whole series of Bible study videos on my YouTube channel. Feel free to check it out if you guys haven't already. But yes, I highly recommend Bible study videos because listen, us as believers of Christ, we are called to spread the gospel, tell people about his goodness, but also talk about his word. And what better way to do that than to do it on YouTube? I feel like it is just a great way to inspire and to encourage the body of Christ. Because we're all trying to grow together. All of us are trying to navigate our Christian walk and especially while being young believers too. There's a lot of people who need help and that they need guidance. And so it's really cool to, you know, be a vessel of God and to spread his word and to do works for his kingdom. So I highly recommend Bible study videos as well. And like I said before, feel free to check out my Bible study playlist as well. So the next video idea that I have are get ready with me videos. These videos are really popular too. And not only that, but they can fall into the same category as vlogs. Usually for me, I kind of like to do a mashup of a get ready with me and a vlog just to make the video longer because for me, if I was just gonna post a five minute video of a get ready with me, that could have been turned into a reel on Instagram or TikTok. Even for YouTube shorts, you can also do get ready with me's and that can also enhance your YouTube analytics as well. So the next video idea that I have is a room tour. You could do your own personal room or you can even do your college dorm room. I highly recommend college dorm room videos
videos. They are very popular on YouTube. I did a dorm tour freshman year. How many views does it have? Let's see, about 3,400 views right now. So that being said, they do really, really well for your channel. And it can also give you inspiration as far as how you want to decorate your dorm when you come to college. And honestly, being a freshman, the excitement of you know getting your dorm, decorating your room, like it is such a fun time. Even my sophomore year, like I was hype. I was like, I already know how I want my room to look. I already want this, 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 and this. Like I, even like if you go on YouTube, you can just find a blueprint of how you want your room to look. There's somebody out there that has a room that you could be inspired by. So the next video idea that I have is music playlist videos. I will say with these videos, you may or may not get copyrighted, but truth be told, if your channel is monetized and you have a few videos copywritten over the majority of your videos not being copywritten, it really doesn't hurt that much to be honest. I kind of go in knowing that this video probably isn't gonna make money, but I have several other videos that I can make money off of. I have a music playlist video playlist on my channel. I give y'all a variety of music from, I have a Disney playlist, a worship playlist, a Christmas playlist, summer playlist. Well, y'all know I love music. So I give you guys, you know, a lot of good bops, a lot of good music. It's a really good way to put your viewers onto some really good songs as well. So the next video idea that I have is unpopular opinions. Me personally, I still love these videos to this day in the year of 2024. Even though these videos were trending around maybe like 2019, 2020, and then they kind of started dying down a little bit as the years went by but me personally I still love these types of videos because I'd be watching them and then I'd be like mm, I disagree or mm, I agree most of them are really really fun to watch I have an unpopular opinions video playlist on my channel as well unpopular opinions videos to me are very entertaining to watch so I highly recommend it so the next video idea that I have are cool advice videos or just advice videos period but honestly cool advice is also really really popular as well because again you have kids that are coming into college, high school, and just need advice. And so they go to YouTube to see, okay, is there anybody that can give me advice on going to high school or going to college? I have made a high school advice video. It was at one point my most viewed video on my channel. It's one of my most viewed videos to date. And then I also have a college advice video. And I'm actually thinking about doing another college advice video, but for Christians. So let me know if you guys want to see that. And I might have a special guest as well, so we'll see. They are definitely beneficial for those who are coming to high school or coming to college. Well, I remember watching high school advice videos and a lot of them are really entertaining as well. So the next video idea that I have is hygiene routine slash hygiene faves. These videos are still very popular. They're still trendy. I just recently uploaded one about a month ago, I think. Feel free to check it out if you guys haven't. But I love watching them. One of my favorite hygiene YouTubers is Chloe Yasmin. Most of y'all know her. She is a believer in Christ. She also made Christian content, hygiene content, and she really be, you know, educating us on how to take care of our bodies. And honestly, I love that for her. And I feel like we need more content like that. And we shouldn't be afraid to talk about hygiene because it is a part of life, especially, you know, for female hygiene. So it's really cool that we have YouTubers out here educating. And I feel like girls shouldn't be ashamed of getting more knowledge about our bodies and how to take care of it, especially how to clean it. A lot of YouTubers be putting me on to really great products as well. The next video idea that I have is a day in my life videos these kind of fit into the vlog aspect um, but they're really really cool to make it randomly spending a day at college and you're like you know what I'm just gonna vlog and do a random day or random days in my life or you could do like a week in my life I do a lot of those because again I like longevity in my videos and I like to make sure that my videos are long enough so sometimes I like to do maybe two or three days or I'll do the whole week it really depends on how I feel but those videos are really really cool to make as well so the next video idea that I have are hair videos hair videos Listen, let me tell y'all. I know so many YouTubers who are incredibly talented with doing hair and a lot of those videos are very popular. So if you're really good at doing hair, that is a really good niche to have for your YouTube channel. During COVID, a lot of people were making hair tutorials because a lot of us weren't able to go to the salon and people literally learn how to do their hair off of YouTube. And so listen, you could be a blessing for somebody else and teach people how to do hair. So the next video idea that I have is a makeup routine. So I've been debating on doing this 
for a minute but usually I make videos where I'll be doing my makeup and you basically see my makeup routine. Makeup videos are really popular as well and makeup tutorials are popular too so if makeup is your ministry by all means you should definitely upload videos where you are showing your makeup routine which makeup products to use you know trial and error type so like if you see that a product is trending do a review of that product and be like hey this product is great or this product isn't so great. A lot of people really love watching those videos too. On top of that makeup is just so satisfying to watch as well. So the next video idea that I have is gift ideas. It could be like Christmas gift ideas, birthday gift ideas, Valentine's gift ideas. These videos are really good too and for me I've uploaded teen Christmas guy on my videos and those do really really well. That video was the video that got me to a thousand subscribers and it can you know give people inspo on what to give for gifts, what to give themselves, to get somebody else. So it's a really good video idea to get that gift inspo. So the next video idea that I have is emergency kit essentials, especially for my ladies because we go to school, we have periods, we have this going on, we have that going on. So those videos are really, really trendy and they're very popular. I made an emergency kit video right before I went to school. Those videos are really helpful as far as what to bring in your emergency kit, pads, gum, pepper spray, you know, stuff like that. They are very, very beneficial as well. And last but not least, the last video idea that I have on my list is how I edit my YouTube videos. So if you are tech savvy and you have a pretty good idea of how you edit your videos and you know how to navigate it all, I highly recommend doing like a tutorial or like a walkthrough of how you edit your content because honestly, for me, it is really interesting to watch how other people make their own content because everybody makes their videos differently. I personally made and how I edit my videos video and I uploaded that I believe about two years ago. People use different editing softwares like iMovie, CapCut, Final Cut Pro, etc. So it really gives you a glimpse of, you know, how you personally make your own content. And let's be real, people like to gatekeep, but listen, if we're trying to help each other grow, there's no point of gatekeeping. I'll use the same apps everybody else use, girl. Stop gatekeeping, stop being stingy. Amen, amen. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I really hope that you guys were inspired to add some of these video ideas onto your list of content to make for your channel. I wish you guys nothing but the best, and I pray that your channel will grow in Jesus' name. If you guys are not already, do not forget to check out my other content and do not forget to follow me on my socials, which are up here and down below as usual. God bless you guys. I love y'all so much and I will see you next time. Mwah, bye.